Well, the hot housing market is definitely affecting commercial real estate. If you look just simply at land prices here in, in Greater Vancouver, it's, they're off the chart. Um, people are speculating on very high sales numbers, which in, it, in turn is driving some very high land prices. So we're seeing land prices that we would never ever have anticipated years ago. Uh, transactions at over $400 a buildable foot here in Vancouver proper, which, you know, if you do the math of land values plus construction costs, plus soft costs and, and community contributions, you're at numbers now that really can only be supported by 15 to $1,500 to $2,000 a square foot sales numbers. And that, that's on, you know, we, we just never anticipated that and never expected that. And that's had a knock on effect even into commercial real estate proper. If you look at uh, highest and best use, people are now competing for those lands. So whether, whether they be office or employment opportunities, or whether they be industrial opportunities, or certainly residential lands, all land prices have, have increased here in Metro Vancouver. I think to a large extent, uh, it impacts uh, an employer's ability to hire and retain staff. The affordability of housing in Vancouver is such that uh, it's difficult for a two-income family to be able to own a home. Uh, and um, But I think what's more important there is not so much that houses are too expensive. Uh, I think there's some good research being done on the disparity between the wages in this region and the cost of housing. And so that's something I think we need to look at uh, in order to bridge that gap between um, it being a great place for people to want to live and work, uh, but not being attainable. So I, I think this wage disparity is something that has to be looked at in that regard. The hot housing market in Vancouver, uh, its effect on commercial real estate, I think the, the biggest is, is its effect on land prices and land valuation. Um, clearly we'll pay more for where we live than where we work and we've seen land prices skyrocketing and we're also seeing um, development opportunities that would traditionally either stay industrial and or office go to residential. Um, the Molson site for example comes to mind as an industrial site that is speculative to eventually go residential at some point in time. Sure I think it's hard to talk about residential real estate without talking about commercial real estate and vice versa. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, land prices are so high that you really have to, uh, you can't just build an office building anymore. You got to think about, I'm going to build an office building with a hotel component and a condo component and some retail. And I'm going to make it as dense as I can. And I want it to be very much a livable community. So you don't just want uh, uh, office, you want a little bit of mixed use. And therefore I think um, the fact that You've got people, you know, certainly in Vancouver, who, you know, for the average young professional couple, I think a lot of them are come to the realization they're probably not going to have that house with a nice lot because it's three to four million dollars, at least, at least not for the foreseeable future. And therefore, I think that's going to uh, developers are going to cater to that. We heard that this morning in the sessions. Developers are going to cater to those those couples. So you're going to see um, more purpose-built rental apartments. You're going to see apartments that are bigger. They used to be, you know, very small shoebox ones like condos, etc. I think they're going to be larger because you're going to be catering to people, young families who may have one or two kids, and they're going to be living in that urban, um, high-rise environment. Well, the uh, the Vancouver housing market is, uh, you know, is is the catalyst to a lot of development that we are seeing in our city. So, because this is such a great place to live, it is attracting tenants. Uh, it is subsidizing the cost of uh, commercial construction. Uh, by virtue of these mixed-use projects, uh, the residential uh, pays, pays a bigger share of the cost base than the commercial does.